All right, forget about the global warming. Let's talk about the, the challenges of the artificial intelligence then. So not only that the global warming is happening, but, and making hundreds of thousands by our own uh, industry activities, uh, of beautiful creatures of the modern age are extinct every, every year, but it's AI. We started playing God, full power. We started creating something which we call intelligence or intelligences, which one day might become smarter than us, the humans. Or as Ray Kurzweil said it, I don't know how many of you know him and his book, The uh, Spiritual Machines, he put it that way. Singularity, that moment of time when the advancement of technology will actually be particularly AI, will make it possible for the machines to become cleverer than the humans. In other words, when the singularity happens in 2045, 2045, not 2045, 2045, we will have machines and the total intellectual capacity of the humankind will be less than the capacity of the machines on the planet Earth. That singularity. Now, most probably you question this, but let me tell you, Ray Kurzweil has been predicting the development of technologies for a long time. He basically, until today, has predicted every single step that we see of how the artificial intelligence is going to develop with zero mistakes, ear by ear. So if you question someone who's been so good so far, maybe you should question yourself. Today is 28th of June, 2023. Remember that date. Six years from now, on 28th of June, 2028, sorry, 2029, the AI will have human-grade intelligence. Six years from now, the AI will have a human-grade intelligence. 2029, 28th of June. You don't need to search for me to find me and to tell me you are right. This was again part of the global predictions of how the artificial intelligence develops. And then according to Kurzweil, as I've mentioned, 2045, is the day when we will not be the most intelligent creatures on the planet Earth. Ten years ago, I've published an article that states that 250 years from now, the humans who will inhabit the planet Earth will be much more different from us than our differences today to chimpanzees, you know. And uh, I was wrong. It will not be 250 years from now. We all say technology develops in exponential way, that it's a miracle, it's remarkable. Oh, wait, wait, we haven't seen anything yet. Fasten your seat belts. What is going to happen in the next three, five, ten years from now will be a roller coaster. And regardless, for those who say yes and those who say no, there is definitely one question that unites all of us, all these thousands of people from 
50 plus in all around the, the world countries. Is it good for me? Is it good for my children? Is it good for our families? Is it good for our friends? Is it good for the countries, for the planet? Forget about the planet, it's about the humans. By 2030, we expect the humans to have human intelligence hours because we shall be those who will upload it there by connecting our neocortex to the cloud. And guys, I'll be among the first. We are investing in solutions and we are looking at these opportunities. Yes, there is Elon Musk, there is uh, even Bill Gates and uh, others who warn us of what the AI can do to the humankind. But actually, I'm looking forward to the singularity because I believe that it will empower us, that it will give us more understanding and more connection between each other and with the mother planet because otherwise we will be extinct anyway with the speed of devastation we bring to our planet by killing thousands of species every single year everywhere in the world. By the fact that we are completely disconnected from what really happens all around the world, all the devastation the climate brings, etc. More connected, more aware, more prepared for our next.